Boston 25 cares. Getting involved. Taking action. Building a brighter future. Lending a helping hand. Locally driven. Supporting our community. Boston 25 cares. Don't miss. Vicki, thank you. We are following some breaking news. An MBTA ferry has run aground in Boston Harbor. Now we're told. Be prepared for any kind of weather with the Boston 25 weather team. Only on Boston 25 News. TV's number one daily viral video show, right this minute. This is the MeTV Network, seen locally on WCVB's MeTV Boston. MeTV is memorable entertainment television. WCVB New Center 5 at 4 starts right now. As we come on the air with 4, we begin with breaking news. Mosquitoes infected with West Nile virus detected in the state's second largest city. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ed Harney. And I'm Emily Reamer. Health officials in Worcester say a pool of mosquitoes collected in that city tested positive for the virus. There are You're watching WCVB New Center 5 at 4. A heartbreaking message from a little boy to his father who died. Tonight at 6, we're not saying goodbye. The Celtics have the night off. We're saying <laughs> to Sports Center 5's Mike Lynch. We'll get the Bears on Super Sunday. From the greatest victories. Boy, does that feel good? To the biggest names. So it works all great for you. A look at 35 years of Sports Center 5 with Mike Lynch. Tonight at 6 on New Center 5. Chronicle tonight, the king of custom cakes. Beautiful. It's not just tasty, they're beautiful. The balance between health and flavor. It just makes you feel good. High quality, low price tag. Pass those savings on to the consumer. Food Journal. Yummy. Chronicle tonight. And stories we are following right now from the newsroom. New York Governor Newsday here at New Center 5. I'll see you again at 6. And Ed and Emily are here now with New Center 5 at 5. WCVB New Center 5 at 5 starts right now. Supporters lining up. Protesters gathering the president on his way. Live team coverage of President Trump's visit to New England. Tracking the return of heat and humidity and how it will impact your weekend plans. The dangerous confrontation at a protest in Rhode Island. The truck driving into to a group of demonstrators, the investigation underway. Commitment 2020, President Trump aboard Air Force One right now preparing. Yeah, but he is on his way to New Hampshire. New Center 5 at 6 starts right now. WCPB New Center 5 at 6 starts right now. Crowds lining up, protesters gearing up as President Trump comes to New Hampshire. What his supporters say they're hoping to hear at his rally here in Manchester tonight. We had a little fog this morning. We may see some more of that overnight tonight. And I'll show you when thunderstorms move back into the forecast. Breaking news, a little girl hit by a car in Essex. The investigation now underway. A scary confrontation at a protest in Rhode Island. The action just taken against a correction officer accused of driving right into a crowd. 5.58 in the afternoon, you are looking live at the airport of Manchester, New Hampshire. Smell, Farragut, and Morristown. Watch this Sunday for the extra point moment of the game. Presented by Ted Russell Ford Lincoln, East Tennessee's number one Ford Lincoln dealer. This is WVLT News Saturday morning. Good morning and thank you for watching WVLT News Saturday morning. I'm Ashley Boley filling in for Robert Grant. Well, we got some clouds coming our way. Let's get a check with meteorologist Ben Cathy what this weather's looking like for this Saturday. Hey, good morning. Hey, I'm meteorologist Ben Cathy. Good Saturday morning. Temperatures across much of the
Well, good morning and welcome back to WVLT News Saturday morning. Let's It's the cold front that's going to be sweeping through. We'll see another round of storms. Potential's also there for Thursday afternoon. A new tornado warning right here in Knox County. This is coming very close to the northern part of 640. This is why we have that WVLT weather alert day. Watch the Friday Night Vol Report at 6 p.m. Rick Russo and the WVLT sports team explain what the Vols need to do to bring home the win. The Friday Night Vol Report, sponsored by Farm Bureau Insurance. Tennessee turns to us for auto, home, and life insurance. This is WVLT News Saturday morning. Good morning and thank you for watching WVLT. Nom, 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 nom. The Goldbergs, weeknights at 7.30 on Fox 43. Wednesdays at 8 on Fox 43. Tonight at 10, new warnings about the long-term dangers of tackle football. We spoke to the researcher behind a new study and heard from parents about their findings. Also, we're taking you outside. This is a live look at our Coa Highway. Cassie's in with our weekend forecast and a dramatic cool down. Also tonight, can CBD cause you to fail a drug test? The new claim making the rounds online. We're going to hear from experts about whether that is true. Live from Knoxville, you're watching Fox 43 News at 10. All right, we begin the 10 o'clock broadcast with what is to our west. Rain showers, but as you see, as they move into Knoxville and really the surrounding area, they start to break up. Meteorologist Cassie Nall joins us now. We know the cool down's coming. We'll talk about those temperatures, but a lot of people are interested in the moisture. Yeah, and that's why I wanted to show you that radar, because I think a lot of people are going to... Fox 43 is an equal opportunity employer and from time to time has open positions at the station. If you'd like to see our current opportunities, please visit WTNCFox43.com and click on Employment Opportunities. Oh, we Catch up on the day's top stories with East Tennessee's only live local news source at 630 with Fox 43 News. Everybody has a... Certified by Weather Rate, Knoxville's most accurate forecast. This is your forecast first from the WATE 6 and your side storm team. Sponsored by Knoxville Wholesale Furniture, the furniture you want. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Victoria Cavalieri. Temp readings this morning have fallen since we began our broadcast. Right now we're coming up. Serving the people of East Tennessee, WATE 6 and your side, Good Morning Tennessee, starts now. Coming up on Good Morning Tennessee, we're learning more about a stabbing at Victor Ash Park, what police are revealing about the suspect and the condition of the victim. Plus, a new lead in the murder case of a National Guardsman in Loudoun County, what investigators are asking the public to be out on the lookout for. Good morning, I'm Marshall Hughes, live outside Neyland Stadium. We're counting down to kickoff. Y'all ready for game day? We got Vols fans already here set to take on Mississippi State. We're tailgating right now in Good Morning Tennessee. Boy, they sure are. There's a lot of energy out there. Well, Good Morning Tennessee, I'm Blake Stevens. We'll get to your top stories here in just a minute. But first, we need to get a quick check of today's forecast. It's uh, the big game. Uh, and Victoria, I understand you're looking at colder temps and a little rain. Yes, that's right, Blake. We're watching some spotty showers already this morning. That cold front's been pushing through the area. And some places include... One of the great things about our Million Dollar Community Investment Program is we've had a chance to work with some amazing charities. East Tennesseans are generous and caring, and it really shows in the way people come together to help one another. We are pleased to play a small part by offering multimedia grants to local nonprofits so they can reach more people. To learn more, visit WATE.com. East Tennessee is so amazing, and we're so excited to share the stories that make our home such a special place to live. Join the fun on Living East Tennessee. For everything East Tennessee, get the free WATE Sit Your Side News app. Now, here's Knoxville's most accurate forecast from the WATE 6 on your side storm team. All right, we're back with meteorologist Victoria Cavalieri. Victoria has an interesting...
rely on Ramjet. You're watching WATE, six on your side. Technology news for normal people. Watch What the Tech weekdays on Channel 3. Eyewitness News Today continues right now. Coverage you can count on. Channel 3 Eyewitness News Today. And days after a deadly shooting at Coyote Jack's, uh, local leaders continue to push for change. We'll have details on the very latest move by the city of Chattanooga. Plus, Chattanooga police need your help finding the man accused of leaving a crash that killed his passenger. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for being with us. I'm Lori Mitchell. I am John Martin. It is Friday Eve, everybody. And man, many people are enjoying these cooler temperatures. But could we see some rain in the forecast this week? Robert Sherrill's voice rings out Friday nights in South Pittsburgh. For 61 years, he's been the voice of their Friday night football. But there's another accomplishment in Robert's life that beats even that. His story, Friday at 6. This week is fun. Channel 3 Storm Alert Weather, presented by Window Depot, Chattanooga's most affordable window professionals. Get a great view with Window Depot. Well, now overtime, powered by Pioneer Metal Depot, Saturdays at noon. From the EPB Fiber Optics Weather Center, your Storm Team 12 AccuWeather right now forecast. Titan radar is dry at the 11 o'clock hour. A few clouds trying to get back in from the west, but not a whole lot going on. In fact, temperatures are mild and look uh, from Chattanooga Dalton into the uh, 60s, but lower 70s over in western Tennessee. So that's telling us that tomorrow is going to be another warm one out there as through the overnight. No real problems if you're going to be getting off to work and school. News 12 now at 11. Your news starts now. Good evening, I'm Dorothy Sherman. And I'm John Mercer. Thanks for joining us tonight. Well, while much of the focus this week has been on that fatal shooting that happened at Coyote Jacks, it's not the only homicide that has happened in Chattanooga in just the past few weeks. That's right. Community members gathered tonight to talk about solutions to keep the community safe. That's From the News 12 Now Sports Desk. Since South Pittsburgh has been a dominant football team for years, other schools aren't exactly as that on it, John. Huh? Definitely. Patrick will have your forecast and return. Don't go away. Sounds good. That's it for us. We will see you again tomorrow night. Of course, it's touchdown Friday night. Stick around for that. Good night. See you. Right now at 11, new warnings tonight about the long-term dangers of tackle football. We'll hear from a researcher behind that new study and what parents think of that issue. And not doing too bad out there tonight. We've got enough dry air in place now that the sprinkles are evaporating, but we may see some showers tomorrow. We'll take a look at your forecast coming up. Plus, after fearing she wouldn't get to watch her grandkids grow up, a breast cancer survivor is getting ready to race for the cure. We're going to hear from her about preparing for her eighth Komen Race for the Cure. 10 News is brought to you in high definition exclusively by Harper Auto Square. WBIR 10 News starts now. We begin this Friday evening with breaking news out of Morristown. Authorities say a woman died in an apartment fire. The Morristown Fire Marshal says they found that elderly woman in one unit of a fourplex on Mall Drive. Get 10 news weather team updates throughout the day on B97.5, home of Ashley, Brad, and Michelle in the morning. This is the MeTV Network, seen locally on WBIR's MeTV Knoxville. MeTV is memorable entertainment television. This is the MeTV Network, seen locally on WFLI's MeTV Chattanooga. MeTV is memorable entertainment television. First at 10 on Fox Chattanooga starts right now. 
Jersey Jacks will soon be shut down after the city announced its fate today. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rose. Sydney Edwards tells us what this means for the city, also what it means to the families who lost their loved ones near that property. Sydney. Josh and Kim, some people are saying it's been... You're watching First at 10 on Fox Chattanooga. Welcome back, former Bright's president. Seinfeld is coming up next on Fox Chattanooga. To me, what's really amazing... Developing right now on Good Morning Chattanooga. Shutting down Coyote Jacks. The steps the city is taking right now to close the popular nightclub and what this means for the families who have lost loved ones to the violence there. Plus, a Dunlap man says that officers beat him while raiding his home. Why the Marion County Sheriff says his deputy acted in self-defense. Thank you so much for joining us on Good Morning Chattanooga. I'm Jessica Hardhorn. Let's start with a quick check of your forecast with meteorologist Brian Smith. Good morning, Brian. Hey, good morning to you, Jessica, and a good Thursday. This is CBS 46 News at 4, getting results. It's a big inconvenience for everybody. How long is too long for an Atlanta road to be closed? One man is dead and another is fighting for his life after being targeted at this hotel. We don't know why they were targeted right now. I'm Ayanna Chris Wobb, the very latest on the investigation. I'm Ashley Thompson at the DeKalb County Courthouse where deliberations have entered a fourth day in the Robert Olson murder trial. Is that your protocol to pepper spray the kids? There was no immediate threat. A resource officer pepper sprays high school students and it's all captured on video. They said that they couldn't they, well, we couldn't just shoot them. Why a concerned parent thinks the officer went too far. And good afternoon. I'm Rick Fulbaum. Well, thank you for starting the afternoon with us. I'm Sean Gables. We're going to start with some breaking news that we're following. CBS 46 is first and only on the scene beside crime scene tape on Law Street. That is this. Thanks for making CBS 46 the fastest growing news in Atlanta. On CBS 46 News at 5. All of a sudden I hear a gunshot. Boom! Police are looking for two suspects after one man is dead and another is fighting for his life. That terrifies me as a contractor. Will a jury reach a verdict today? I'm Ashley Thompson at the DeKalb County Courthouse where we are covering every major update in the Robert Olson murder trial. Right now crews are setting up for Atlanta Pride. 2019, and trust me, this is going to be an event you don't want to miss. There it is. The St. Louis Cardinals advance. The Braves' dream season comes to a nightmare end. So what went wrong, and where does the team go from here? We begin with breaking news update in Northwest Atlanta here at 5. The crime tape is coming down at a triple shooting near a junkyard on Law Street. Atlanta Fought it. Fox 5 News at 6 starts right now. Gun down on the job. Two contractors shot before even beginning their workday at a DeKalb County Motel. One of those men was murdered and the second victim is in critical condition. The shooting happened at the Oyo Hotel off I-20 at Wesley Chapel Road. As Fox 5. But I never thought he would kill anybody. U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force rushed to Nashville, Tennessee. As I started to handcuff him, I saw his tattoo stick out, the tattoo that you found for us. After he was in custody, I told him that Dale Russell said to say hello. Don't go anywhere. Right now, Thursday night kickoff. Have a good night. We hope to see you after the football game tonight for Fox 5 News. Seasons change, but the Patriots don't. Tonight on Thursday Night Kickoff, Tom Brady shows Atlanta how to win again. That is, unless the New York Giants have something up their sleeves. We'll find out soon. T and K is on the way. Let's get ready for football. It's time for your Fox 5 Thursday Night Kickoff. It is week six. We've got another great game for you right here on Fox 5 tonight. It'll be the Patriots hosting the Giants. Matt Chernoff joins me once again. Hello, Cody. Hello, Matt. Good to see you. K it's a Super Bowl rematch. It is. A, a few times. Storm Tracker 2 HD providing you earlier warnings. 
New from overnight, a family under fire. Police say someone shot up this home and then took off, but they didn't stay away for long. Plus, it's exactly what millions of people have feared. You're looking at live pictures out of California. A huge wildfire just exploded overnight. The reason firefighters are having a hard time stopping this. We've all heard the joke that, hey, Atlanta is full. But spoiler alert, there could soon be a new king when it comes to the most populated county. And more people means, ooh, Mark Aram, more traffic. Live, local, link breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News This Morning. Coverage you can count on. 4.30 on this Friday, October 11th. If you're listening to me and Fred right now, that means you're awake early, and we are so glad you are. Welcome, everyone. I'm Linda Stouffer. I heard this today in the newsroom. It is finally fry yay I like oh, it. Oh, oh, good morning to you. I'm Fred Blankenship, and right now, meteorologist Brian Monahan tracking a lovely fry yay in severe Weather Center too, Brian. Fantastic. Am I allowed to say, <laughs> finally feels like frawl then? Yes. <laughs> How about yes. that? Fabulous. Why not? As you got, oh, we could just keep this going. We got cooler temperatures <laughs> out there this morning. A great feel to your Friday morning headed into the... The details of the story were shocking. A little girl said a man choked her and then tried to kidnap her on her school playground, but now police say the evidence does not support it. Shortage in sterilized equipment, staff not showing up, and that's not all. The problems at the local VA and the impact on veterans. Ah, it was a close call that was caught on camera, and now we're hearing from the people who narrowly escaped being hit by a train, and they're blaming GPS. Live, local, link breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News This Morning. Coverage you can count on. That's right. Here we go on your Friday. Good morning to you. It's Friday, October 11th, now 4.59, approaching 5 a.m. We hope you're waking up very well. Hello to you. I'm Fred Blankenship. Good morning. Happy Friday. I'm Linda Stouffer. What great weather. New this morning, two separate robberies involving Georgia State students. We have the latest on what police say happened. Enjoy the sunshine today because as we head into the weekend, the clouds will increase and our chance for rain goes up. And we're connecting the dots between what we eat in the future and climate warming emissions. Live from the 11 Alive studio, Morning Rush starts now. A new PSA compares youth football dangers to smoking. As some states have discussed banning tackle football for kids under 12, this PSA is making the rounds and producing a lot of reaction online. We're breaking it down, but let us know what you think. Use hashtag Morning Rush ATL as we discuss. As soon as you saw what looks like cigarettes on those kids' mouths, you knew it would cause a bit of controversy. Everybody's talking about it, and we will too. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. We made it. We made it. We made it. Oh. All right. A lot of roads closed for that, so check if you're navigating around. Yeah, 12 o'clock sharp. It starts. Line up early. Have a great weekend, everybody. Peace. Hey, I'm Aisha Howard. You hear what happened today? I'll tell you all about it tonight on Up Late. on camera. That's first when the news begins in 15 seconds. Now, WBRZ News 2 at 10. Live from News 7 KWWL, we've got you covered. This is KWWL News at 6. Now at 6, 1 Eastern Iowa. This is WRAL News, your number one source for local news. We begin with breaking news right now. Another inmate. Local news that matters with Dana Winkleplack, Mike Tank, and Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. You're watching WAWV Live at 5. You're watching WTWO News at 6 with Dana Winkleplack, Mike Tank. Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker and Sports Director Grant Pugh. We're live where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland. This is ABC 7 at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us for ABC 7. From your local station, this is News Channel 5's Nightside.
Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. This news starts right now. You're watching ABC 7 News at 630. Thank you for joining us. I'm Taylor Torque. Right now, KNOE 8 News Live at 5. Your breaking news and weather authority. You can't describe the feeling when you get to a where.